Today we're going to import products into the admin of the Magento website. So first I'm going to start the FTP program and then find the CSV file. I gave it a name that would make it easy to find, one product.csv. So now as soon as we log in, I'll be able to upload that. And now we're in, so I'm going to just click the upload button. And there it is, one product CSV. So I'm done with that. Can close the FTP program. And now we go to system. Import export. Oops, system. Import export. Data flow advanced profile. And then I click on edit. And now in all of this, the only thing I want to change is the name of the CSV file. So here we have one. And I'm going to take that out and put in the name of my new CSV file. Oh, wait, sorry, here it is. product CSV and now I click save profile and then I go back to edit and I see one product CSV it did save it now I go to run profile and now those products are all being imported It will begin to show the progress of the import now. And now it's showing the progress of the import in this area. So for the purpose of speeding up the video, I'm going to pause this since we're just at 2% now. I'll pause this and then come back closer to the end. Right now it's a little bit, well, 22% done, so it's got 72 of the 324 records already imported, and it found one where the image does not exist. That's okay. We can go into the admin and see why that image doesn't exist. Maybe the URL was typed incorrectly. Maybe the name of the image was misspelled. It might be a little typo. For example, if the item was called radio.jpg, maybe radio got misspelled. So from the admin, we can correct that one and make it, make it okay, and then it'll appear. We'll come back and check on the progress later. I'm gonna pause again. Now it shows that we're 91% done. We've got 296 of the 324 records imported, and looks like we've got seven with no image. No problem, from the admin, we can correct those one by one. So we'll get back to that in a little while. And I'm just gonna pause again and come back to this.